सो हेलो गाइज वेलकम बैक टू दैनल आई होप यू आल आर एप्सली फाइन एंड साउंड एंड मेनी ऑफ यूर रिक्वेस्टिंग दैट हाउ यू कैन गेट द फैसिलिटेटर्स वैक्स येस्टरडे आई हैव पोस्टेड वन अनबॉक्सिंग वीडियो इन केस यू हैव एंड सीन इट हेयर इज द वीडियो आई शेयर द लिंक इन द डिस्क्रिप्शन सो हाउ यू कैन गेट द स्कूल फैसिलिटेटर्स वैक्स एंड हाउ यू हैव टू जस्ट पार्टिसिपेट इन द प्रोग्राम एंड विन दिस वैक्स विल बी कवर्ड इन दिस वीडियो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल इफ यू आर न्यू टू दिस चैनल डू लाइक द वीडियो एंड सब्सक्राइब द चैनल बिकॉज If you are not subscribed, you will miss some important updates and learning opportunity. So make sure to subscribe it. First of all, let me tell you about the Arcade Facilitator program. So here, let me show you the Facilitator homepage. Okay, let me show you the Facilitator homepage. So basically, first of all, make sure to watch this unboxing video and let's come to the Arcade Facilitator homepage. Now, as you all are knowing that the Arcade Facilitator cohort two is running currently. Okay. and cohort 1 was also running now it ended now cohort 2 is live and here we have some facilitators who are your facilitators if you have participated in the arcade facilitator cohort 2 as a participant you must be receiving progress report or you must be receiving some extra information from your facilitators also in the progress report there is the reference of your facilitator basically there are two facilitators one is facilitator and co facilitator both are mentioned they are just your guide whatever problem you face for example suppose you face issue in any particular lab they reach out to the main team and they make the labs optional because many of you are facing some kind of issue and it's the responsibility of the facilitator to help you if you face any issue regarding to the program and any event etc so basically the role of the facilitator is for guidance purpose only now here many of you are worried that you are participated and we are not getting some kind of swag so will you get the swags as a normal participants also like these swags are only for the facilitators who are just helping you to learn and basically accomplish your milestone similarly facilitators to have milestone so depending on their milestone they get swags so let me first of all clear the confusion there is basically facilitator program there is one facilitator and one participant if you have used any referral code whatever it have been shown on the video of any creator if you have joined under any referral code that means you are a participant and if you have hosted the event and someone has joined using the code is the facilitator this is the simple so let me clarify about the facilitator program basically here as a facilitator what will be your role as a facilitator your role will be to help your participants in just redeeming credits smooth enrollment in the program assistance throughout the program if they face any issue in the labs etc so this is the role of the facilitator now here comes the main thing how you can become a facilitator can anyone become a facilitator or is there any basically limit or any kind of achievement we need for becoming a facilitator so let me clarify there is no achievement needed basically your bus only the basically your basically your learning ability if you want to learn if you are eager to learn more things new things and basically want to lead the program then you should take part in it basically here a, there is a simple form is released you have to fill the form with details and answer some basic questions and after that the nomination progress will become and then you will be getting an email that you have been shortlisted okay you will get an email that you have been shortlisted and after that you have to choose basically after you are shortlisted you have to just nominate anyone if you have things selected nomination means you can select anyone else also so let's move on to main topic basically how to fill the facilitator program form so basically here for the cohort 2 okay for the cohort 2 how you have to fill the form i am showing you here is the form so basically the form is live okay this is the form for the basically arcade facilitator interest form so let me show you first of all let me come back over here and show you this is the official form and how we can confirm the form is official you can see here this form is created inside google.com and obviously google cannot be fake so this is the official form and how you have to fill the form 
for beginning your arcade facilitator journey. Okay, I've already made a video how to fill the form. If you want to refer to that, you can just watch this video also. And here I'm showing that live demo, how you can fill the form and guarantee your seat for cohort one of the 2026 arcade facilitator program. Currently the program is running. So we have to just prepare for the upcoming program. And as early you fill the form, you'll be eligible for the swags too. So here basically the first step is that you have to create an email ID. So if you have already having an email ID, here is no limitation. If you are participating as a facilitator for the facilitator program, you can use your old arcade account email ID to a new arcade account. Basically old arcade account email ID you can use or new also basically. Okay, like this you can use any email ID. Now once you are done with this, paste your email ID and click on next. Now here, please pay attention to the next step. Here you have to enter your full name. Now full name means legal name. What is present on your Aadhaar card, on your government ID. Because they will be asking your government ID too, once you are selected. Here full name, you cannot write random rider or stylish girl or showcase boy or lemon chase. Like this, you cannot name yourself. You have to use your legal name, whatever is printed on your government ID. So carefully enter your name over here and simply type the name over here. For example, just type your name and here you have to enter the email. Okay, enter the email which you have entered previously. Now here is the catch that you have to enter the same email address which is linked to your Cloud Skills Boost account. Now if you don't have a Cloud Skills Boost account, I'll sell, I will share you. I will share you how you can create one. Okay. I will share this link. You have to simply click on join option. Okay. Now here basically you have to enter all your details. Basically enter all your details mentioned over here. Right. You have to enter your first name, last name, email. In case you are a student, you can just type any in the company name or your university name. Okay. Now here is the important thing, date of birth. For being eligible for the arcade facilitator program, you have to just fill the form and make sure you are minimum 18 years of age. Okay, your age must be 18 years from the 2026 itself. So if you are 18 years of age, you can take part in it. And there is no issue if you are more than 18 years. Like even if you are 65, 75 or even 99 years of age, you can take part on it. There is a minimum criteria for becoming the facilitator or basically in the participating in the arcade programs too. So make sure you are at least 18 years of age. So accordingly, you have to fill all the details and just click on I am not a robot and create account. Now you can use the sign in with Google also. There is no issue. It will automatically create the account. Okay. Now if you have already an account, simply click on sign in and just select your account. Okay. Just select your account. Now here your account is ready. Okay. So it will look like this. When you open this, I will share you. Wait a minute. You can see here, it will look like this once you are signed into your Cloud Skills Boost account. Now let's come to the form over here. Okay, now here, if you are college, college, basically if you are an employee or basically if you study in any university, you can just type the university or institution name. So here, you have to mention that whether you are a working developer, student or any other. Basically, if you are working as a teacher, educator or YouTuber, anything you can mention over here. So like this select now country. This is only for the Indian participant over here. For your country, you have to fill the form like this only. But for your country, you can contact your DSC leads, etc. They will guide you more about it. Now here, just enter the country. So I'm entering the country. Now here you have to mention the LinkedIn profile. Now earlier, it was not compulsory to create a LinkedIn profile. But now you have to create a LinkedIn profile. And how you have to create? Let me show you. Okay, let me show you. So basically, you have to just go to the LinkedIn and just sign up, sign up and basically create an account just like we created anywhere else. Okay, after that, you have to just go to the profile section and just paste your profile. Now, YouTube channel. Many of you are asking, do we require a YouTube channel to be participant of this program? So the answer is no. You don't need a YouTube channel to participate. You need the skills, only the skill set, which you have already gained if you have participated in the Arcade Facilitator Program Cohort 1 as a participant, also in Arcade Program 2. 
and if you have any queries you can just comment down below now here basically you can type na or just mention the youtube channel now here how you will help the participants all things will be covered do not worry about it now here you have to mention your google cloud community link now recently the community has been updated it has changed to developer community so i will share the developer community url too in the description too now here basically you have to just click on sign in okay you have to just click on sign in and just select the gmail account which is linked to you basically you can use any gmail here is it's no requirement sorry here it is no any issue if you use any different email address okay so here you have to just come to my post over here okay just come to my post and from here you can see this is your discuss up to 1521 you can see you don't have to copy the activity up to 151 here in case of mine it is 1521 in your case it might be different depending on the username you have selected like this you have to just paste it now here just click on yes and now here you have to mention your cloud skills boost account even if you have achieved all the badges there is no issue because there will be separate badge for the arcade facilitator program so come to your cloud skills boost account go to the settings option scroll down a bit and basically if you are completely new to this program here by default this option okay make profile public if you have recently created account it won't be accessible and this profile basically the profile won't be shown over here so here you have to just click on this checkbox first of all and click on update city now the page will reload itself once the page is reloaded you'll see this kind of url you have to right click copy link address come over here paste over here like this and here it is pasted now here you have to just mention 5 5 now here it is asking why do you think you are the right person to become a facilitator okay now here you have to make them believe that you are right person how you can lead the program you can help let that basically you can help them basically you can just mention that you will be guiding the participant to help complete labs how to understand the cloud concepts how to just tackle lab problems and basically if you have participated as a facilitator previously or if you have participated in any hackathon you can tell how you will be able to lead the program and help the participants basically here you have to just give them that you are the best person in the world to become a facilitator have confidence and write it beautifully you can take help from basically the ai tools but don't paste ent entire thing from that now here have you ever led any technical program societies or clubs many clubs are running in many colleges like cyber club basically tech club designer club hackathons many events are running parallelly even if you are a developer community students you must have hosted multiple events also like robo ai dev fest etc apart from these many events hackathons were also be running so you need to mention that thing okay you need to mention in case you have participated or hosted you can share your experience do not worry no need to write high level english you just be yourself and share whatever you feel whatever you have experienced just mention all this thing you can just say what kind of issues you face in this hackathon and how you tackled it you can mention it okay you have to just mention anything which helps to boost this selection process now here anything you want to mention about yourself you can mention that this is my first time this is my second time and i am excited to lead the students this time in this upcoming cohort you have to mention this thing this is not compulsory but these two are compulsory so make sure to write the best answer in these two now here once all these things are done you have to just click on agree and just submit it now once you have submitted the form over here once you have submitted the form over here you will get a copy response basically the same format whatever you have filled in this form from your email address to name details all things as a copy will be sent to you okay all things as a copy will be sent to you you have to simply re verify that you have entered correct details in case you have entered correct details no need to worry about it just wait for the selection process the the selection emails will be out after basically in april or may the facilitator program may start or even in june 
So depending on it, it will be announced before one month at least. And if it comes, I will share the video that the selection emails are out, how to just check it, how to just nominate your facilitators, all things I will share. In case you want to just see how it happened previously, I shared this playlist, you can watch it. Here you can see you are in and the selection emails were out. So you can watch what happens after you are selected and just check it out. Now this is about the main thing. I hope it clears your doubt and all your queries. If you have a single query, you can comment down below. I'll try to make a video on it or directly reply you. If, the, if you face any issue, you can let me know in the comment section. Also, apart from this, multiple events will be live regarding the Salesforce and basically the Hacktoberfest, multiple events are live. I'll link these videos in the description. You can watch it, participate, win and grow. So that's about this video guys. Have a great day ahead. Do like the video and just subscribe the channel. Thank you. Have a great day ahead.